All right, here is Steve and one of the boys from uh, Mudgee today. How do you think you went? 4-1 win? Yeah, I thought we did well for uh, first half. Started well and then slowed down a little bit towards, towards half time. Then um, second half, like I said, we started, we started slow again then, but then once, once we got that second goal, make it 2-1, one thought we controlled the game after that. Yep. And it's tight between uh, third and uh, sixth at the moment where you guys are at. What do you need to do to uh, make the top four to win all our games? <laughs> yeah. Just make sure we win, make sure we win all, all our games that we've got coming up. Big one on Tuesday and then a big one on Sunday against Brody, so yep. uh, as long as we win them, I think we'll be in good contention. And what do you see the main thing is um, in beating Brody, where do you need to attack them? Yeah. You're going to answer more, you're going to have a to. Midfield, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Midfield, I reckon. Midfield's a big one for Brody. Control the midfield, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. What, he, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no worries. Thanks for your time, boys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here with Bobby from Palm Beach. How do you think today went? Uh, let's say after last week's poor performance, we just wanted to come out and try and play football. and. Um, we probably lost our way, didn't quite pass the feet enough, probably every second ball was going to the opposition. So, um, second half we came out with a bit more of a, um, energy in our gut and um, tried to make something of it. Had a few shots off the crossbar, good keeper saves and we couldn't put them away. And they just caught us on the break and they were just very good up front. They put them away and made the chances. So, we'll go back to the drawing board and try and take on whoever we've got next week. Yep. All right, and you're down the bottom of the table at the moment. Um, what do you need to improve to um, get out of relegation zone? <laughs> yeah, pretty much what I just said. Um, <laughs> we're just going to work on keeping the ball, really. And when we get in behind them like we did today, we've just got to put it away. And you've got um, Rulambar at home next week. Uh, tough to game. It, <laughs> Looking forward to it. The best games are the hard ones. And um, hey, look, they better watch out. Yeah, yeah fair enough. All right, thanks for your time.
Uh, here with uh, David Loney, Coach Mullumba. Uh, not not a vintage performance at the back, but definitely clinical in front of goal. How did you see it after yeah. you got subbed off yourself? Um, yeah, mate, I went off pretty early. I oh, just pulled half-time, actually. But, um, no, I just thought we had to sort of make a few changes there. And, you know, we had a few slip-ups in the back line. And, uh, you know, you can't afford to do that, you know. Especially against Mary, mate, they'll always uh, capitalise and, you know, take their chances. So, you know, a couple of little errors there, too. Uh, uh, with uh, maybe a few calls there have to do with the keeper, but look, at the end of the day, uh, we got a result. The boys up front put it away, and uh, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're glad to get the three points. Well, you started the game with a lot of purpose, but it seemed like after you got the goal and then Merrimack went a man down, you kind of coasted a little bit until half time. Um, what did you say to the boys at half time to get them come out fire in the second half? Uh, yeah, well, basically just to pull their fingers out. I mean, you can't you can't go to sleep, but I think too. Um, against 10 men, it can often be hard because you are sort of, you know, you do back off the pace. But, um, you know, we, we did fall asleep a little bit there before half time and uh, gave them a bit of a rev up and they came out firing. And, uh, yeah, to give Mary Mac credit though, they sort of, they kept plugging away there and they you know, picked up a late goal. So, um, but look, you know, we're glad we got the result. We're just going to sort of uh, keep moving towards the next week now. And you know, a couple of injuries, hopefully, we can uh, get those guys healthy soon. Yeah, well, the round starts again next week. I think you've got Palm Beach again. Start again. They had a loss last night. How would you prefer pair for this for the during the week for next well, week? Well, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a, a tough one for us. You know, we got Luke Morley out, and um, you know we've, we've, we've had him all year, and he's a big asset. So we've got to make a few changes. I think I'll be out next week. Luke is gone, so we'll be missing a few guys. We'll have to sort of see how training goes this week and uh, make some adjustments. But we'll, we'll prepare as best we can, and uh, yeah, we'll be going into it trying to pick up three points away. Well, you've, your reserve grade has certainly stepped it up a bit. You've got a, looks like got a bit more depth. Uh, so congratulations on your victory today and good luck next week. Uh, here with our coach of Merrimack, uh, Brett Bubwe. Uh, started quite well, moving the ball around and then went a goal down and a man down and didn't help you there. But to his credit, he's battled. Uh, How did you see the game from the sideline? Uh, yeah, pretty much what you just said, Dan. You know, I think the difference in the quality of the strikers was evident today where we, when we, we made mistakes they punished us and a couple of times they made mistakes and we, we didn't really take advantage of that uh, but like you said the boys battled you know played 60 minutes more or less with, with 10 men uh, which we've done before against Burley and, and got away with it so we, we knew what the what the plan was but um that was too good in the end for extra man so. even with 10 men though you looked like you could have snuffed a few goals out and you did yeah. to his credit you kept at it yeah we, uh, we kept drive yeah you know, the drive was still there sometimes that comes back to bite you you know some of the yellow cards and the free kicks and giveaway but all in all the i can't fault the attitude of the lads they went out there and you know, i said to them you need to step on onto the park in the second half as if you can win the game and i think they've done that so yeah. they, they but Mullumba with players like Luke Morley up front usually make the difference and yeah, that's proof today. Chris Garth side, you know, they're all quality strikers, the number 11 has scored a couple of goals, you know, they're opportunist goals that sometimes we don't take, but um, young Jacob back from America for us today, come on as a sub and really made a difference, so that's a, a positive for us. So. Well, hopefully next week you can um, have a good week on the training paddock and then yep. bring it to next week. Round starts again. Uh, what will you be doing this week to prepare for the start for the start again? Uh, a bit of shooting, probably. <laughs> no, nah, look, it's pretty much the same for us at this, this stage of the year. Um, we just got concentrating on defence and a bit of ball work, and we we'll go from there. We'll, we'll go and get the right. Unlucky today, a spirited performance, but not the result you wanted. Good luck next week. Right, Cheers, Brett. Cheers.